sometimes they go, hey, Sid, why so sad? <laughs> and I'm like, I, I didn't want to say this, but I'm very sad because Oprah is retiring. <laughs> and it really, well, I feel completely <laughs> about it. <laughs> when I heard Oprah was retiring, I was like, no, why? Right, applaud and laugh at my pain. <laughs> you <laughs> see, the thing is, I've grown up watching Oprah on television because I'm only two. <laughs> Which in rabbit years makes me 53. <laughs> and rabbits age very quickly. Do you know why? Because everything, and I mean everything, eats <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> There's not a sharp-toothed creature on this planet that doesn't look at me and thinks, ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Oh, I'll have some of that with a bit of gravy. When people look at you and they start imagining you covered in gravy, you're either a rabbit or a German prostitute. Or, in my case, both. <laughs> right, well, anyway, the great news is that the show tonight is awesome. <laughs> I'm only kidding, it's a usual. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Dell. The power to do more. More at Dell.com. Motion. Please, everyone, sit down and relax. <laughs> Please, your awesome, real, genuine excitement has bowled me over. <laughs> I can, did I do finger pistols when I came out tonight? God, I'm phoning it in these days. Yeah. Huh? Finger pistols, oh God, I'll be saluting and finger pistols and hey. <laughs> hey, guess what? What? <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? Isn't it? It is a great day for America, and it is a great day for the beloved CBS Employee of the Month, Charlie Sheen. He has agreed... <laughs> to... <laughs> I love that he works here. I'm like, really? I... Oh, come on! <laughs> Anyway, uh, Charlie has agreed to do a cameo on the show Walking Dead. It's true, he's going to be uh, acting like a zombie, stumbling, drooling, making a mess, <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> then he'll do the show. Uh, <laughs> it's a big day for the fans of Justin Bieber. <gasps> I love it! <laughs> His hair comes forward. 
What a concept! <laughs> anyway, the Justin Bieber trading cards are in stores today. Specifically, the Target store here in Hollywood. Aisle 2, shelf 4 in a grey box. <laughs> or so I've heard. According to a recent phone survey, well, this is like a late night show. I, I really said it. According to a recent phone survey. Yeah, yeah. That's my fingermeister. Yeah, Finger pistols, salute. Anyway, according to a phone survey, one in three elderly men say they're still sexually active. <laughs> Good for them, I say. The two men, uh, you know, just mistook the phone for a doorbell. <laughs> hey, who's at the door? Ghosts? If you live here in Los Angeles, too bad. Uh, you probably, you've probably noticed the crisp smell in the air that can only mean one thing. Award season is with us again. It's the time when TV and film critics nominate shows that aren't this one. <laughs> They've started making their list best movie performance, uh, best performance, best angry drunken voicemail. <laughs> and the winner is Mel Gibson rant number one. I'll bury you in the rose garden. I love that he said, isn't that adorable? I'll bury you. He wants her near him. It's, I think it sounds like a country song, that I'll bury you in the rose garden. I beg your pardon, I'm going to bury you in the rose garden. Love it. Anyway, today they announced, the, the, the reason I'm saying this, today the nominations were announced for the Annie Awards. Now, Annie is short for animation. The Annie Awards used to be the animation industry's highest honour. Now the highest honour in animation is making $700 million a picture. But when I first heard about the Annie Awards, it's true they make a fortune, these movies. <laughs> And when I first heard about the Annie Awards, I thought, finally, they're recognizing all of us who've played Annie on stage. It was the highlight of my show business career. <laughs> Do we have a poster of me in my Annie days? There you are. <laughs> Let me see that again. Oh, man. The sun will come out tomorrow. Call me Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> Anyway, the most Annie nominations today went to a little film called How to Train Your Dragon. And I'm Rudy, yes. Uh, I'm rooting for that one because Peter Travers of Rolling Stone called it uh, the sublime entertainment that will charm your socks off and because I'm in it. Aha! I, I've done a lot of voice work for cartoons. It makes sense. What child doesn't light up when they hear a middle-aged alcoholic talk show host? <laughs> hey, kids. The sun will come out tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Larry King did have a voice in the Shrek movies. And why not? There's a good chance one of the kids that are going to see it is one of his. <laughs> this is true. Larry's got like a 300 kids, Larry King. No he, kidding. Yeah, no, he does. People don't know this, but Larry also supplied the Shrek movie with the fart sounds. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shrek, pull my finger. Actually, you don't even need to pull it. I'm Larry King. I can handle it. I got it covered. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing, I'm doing the voice of Owl in the next Winnie the Pooh movie. That's true. I've been preparing by eating mice and trying to twist my head all the way around. And my character in How to Train Your Dragon had a hook for a hand. And I'm a method actor, so I wore a hook for an entire mo uh, month I worked on the film. Nearly tore off my wiener. <laughs> Best damn month of my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about the Animation Awards. You know what the, the, the movie that got a lot of nominations was Tangled. I saw it. It's great. It's a really, it's a fantastic movie. I really liked it. It's a story of Rapunzel, the princess with the gorgeous long blonde hair. Do we have a picture of Rapunzel? There she is. <laughs> now, I think it's weird though having an award show for cartoons because what do you ask the characters on the red carpet? <laughs> hey Goofy, you look fabulous. Who drew you tonight? <laughs> uh, kids in Korea. <laughs> Sometimes 
sometimes, you know, today's animation is very sophisticated. You know, it's clever and poignant. And I miss the old stuff, you know, like the Roadrunner. No subtext in a Roadrunner cartoon. No emotional speeches or sad endings or Woody learns things about himself. The bird says beep beep and the coyote gets his ass blown up. It's fantastic! <laughs> It's simple. There's nothing else going on unless you consider the environmental impact of trying to kill a vital part of the desert ecosystem and the dangers, <laughs> the dangers of a coyote who clearly has ties to a company that makes explosives. <laughs> makes explosives and sends them through the mail. Uh -oh. oh, is right. I mean, that Al-Qaeda get in touch with Acme were... Anyway, uh, we got to take a break now. Uh, I got to. CBS commercials bring solace. Oh, you've been working on that all day, haven't you? Commercials bring solace. All right. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, things will probably be... It'll uh, be much the same, really, I think. <laughs> It's, uh, there's a very special show tonight. We're, uh, we're talking about Oprah's retirement. <laughs> well, actually, not much. Um, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Some tweet mails would hit the spot. This is from uh, Brad in Belmont, Ontario. <laughs> he says, Dear Craig, it's my first Christmas with my girlfriend. <gasps> and I guess I need to buy her something. <laughs> However, I'm a college student and I don't have much money. Any ideas? Yeah, make drawer a nice picture. <laughs> You better start borrowing money. No, I don't know. Draw her a nice picture or maybe make her a nice flan. In your pants. <laughs> yeah, make her a nice flan. In your In pants. Your pants. Yeah. <laughs> That's code. Sexy. Yeah, sexy code. Anyway, this is from Alexis in Pawnee in Indiana. Alexis says, uh, Dear Craig, my birthday is on Christmas. <gasps> Is this from Jesus? <laughs> Alexis in Pawnee in Indiana says, uh, Dear Craig, my birthday's on Christmas and I feel like it's getting overshadowed. What can I do? Nothing. Nothing. And I'll tell you why. Because it's Christmas, so it's not necessarily about you. It's Christmas! Oh, let me see. What should we do, Alexis and Pawnee, Indiana? We'll change the date. How's that? <laughs> Everybody put all the shopping back. Everybody wait. All the churches wait a day. Alexis needs her day. I've ruined Christmas again. Yeah. Not yet, but you will, you bony bastard. You will. Uh... No kidding. Yeah. This is from Derek in Green Bay in Wisconsin, who says... Dear Craig, <laughs> Dear Craig, I was wondering how many emails you receive a day in order to calculate the probability of mine being read on the show. Oh, it's so many, there's not a chance. <laughs> uh, this is from Edgar in Lakeland in Florida. I like the name Edgar. I like that. It makes, it's a very substantial name, Edgar. I feel like somebody called Edgar could solve crimes. <laughs> 
Well, who do you think committed the murder, Inspector? I don't know, but Edgar's here. <laughs> Let me take a look at that, Inspector. That's what you would say if you were a cop. <laughs> Edgar in Lakeland, Florida says, Hi, Craig, I'm 75. See? <laughs> I'm taking my grandkids to a theme park. Do you think it's a bad idea for someone my age to ride on a roller coaster? <laughs> it depends, Edgar. Dentures or no dentures. <laughs> this is true. I used to work in a, in a fairground, and we had this thing, ride called the waltzers. And what you, they spun around very fast, and you would, somewhere I used to work there, I'd have a cigarette hanging out my mouth, and I'd spin them around. It was awesome. <laughs> Anyway, a lady, a lady came on the waltzers and uh, they were spinning very fast and her teeth flew right out and got, cr got crushed, crushed by a waltzer. <laughs> That's right, everybody, another story going nowhere. <laughs> All right, this is from Nora in Reading in uh, America. Uh, it says, hey, Craig, is it ever okay to lie to someone when you know the truth will hurt them? Sure. Um, this is from Jim in Atlanta in Georgia. That's Jim there. Look at the size of the nose in that man. Says, Dear Craig, my wife wants to spice up her sex life. What do you suggest? <sighs> spice. Yeah, it's actual spice on the end of your penis. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> it'll hurt like hell, but it'll make your wife laugh. <laughs> well, it depends on the spice. If you put some parsley in the end of your penis, it'll be all right. But if you put on, like, if you put on curry powder, <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> this is from Lisa in Cologne in Germany. Do you know that Cologne, the perfume, is actually named after Cologne? It's true, I've been there. You go there and it smells a bit like Puff Daddy. You're like... Anyway, Lisa says, Craig, my best friend enjoys Jimmy Fallon's show and I always watch yours. Can we still be friends? Sure, watch Jimmy's show. I don't give a... Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> Jimmy's a good dude. Watch his show. I don't care. You think I get more money if more people watch the show? You're out of here. Ooh la la! Hi. <laughs> Watch me if you want. Watch Jimmy if you want. It's all good. Love all the people. You see this late night? Wake it up. Stick up. Uh oh. How's that? <laughs> all right. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back to the highly competitive Late Late Show, where we look at all our competitors and go, doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> There'll be meetings about what I'm saying all over this building tomorrow. <laughs> and I won't be at them. Do you know why? I'll be napping. <laughs> My uh, first guest tonight is a beautiful woman. I really love her. She's got this HBO documentary. Uh, it's not a documentary. It's a performance kind of thing, isn't it? It's not really a doc. Well, it's kind of a doc. Well, she'll tell you about it. That's the whole idea of a, that's the whole idea of a talk show, you idiot. <laughs> it's called Wishful Drinking. It premieres uh, Sunday on HBO. Take a look at this. I was invited to go to a mental hospital. <laughs> and... Well, you don't want to be rude, right? So you go. Well, wait a, wait a second now. It's a really, really exclusive invitation. I mean, how many of you have been invited to a mental hospital? I'm asking you for real. Please welcome my friend Carrie Fisher, everybody. You look 
nice. I like this. Isn't that lovely roll? I'm enormously oh, fat. Oh, I like these, though. Thank you. Yeah, don't waste your glasses. <laughs> You're not enormously fat. What are you talking about? As you get older, the pickings get slimmer, but the people sure don't. <laughs> Have you been putting that little tea I've towels been writing, thing? That you... I've been writing, yeah, for no. little bumper stickers. It's nice. I like it. There's no room for demons when you're self-possessed. <laughs> hey! I should have given that one to Oprah. I'm going to take over from Oprah and give her I me... think you should. No, I would like to. I, uh, I think you would make a fit, except for the Chicago part. I think I, no, make... I, I can go to Chicago, but there are people Is like there me in Chicago. Yeah, there's Chicago somebody here? from Chicago. There's a guy who knows from wow. Chicago. Wow. Good for you. I like Chicago. Chicago's fine. I, I can go there. I brought you something that will bring you luck. I just was in Australia. Right. <sighs> And this is one of their big souvenirs, which is a um, kangaroo scrotum. <laughs> I am not making this up. This is, and they have it as a bottle opener too. But, no. Do you I, know, it's exactly like mine. I knew it. I knew it. I, it, knew I mean, it. really. I mean, if I was to, you know, if I was to show you a photograph, of, well, another but you photograph used of mine. To do, yes, I know. I mean, it's like, hold on a second. Yep, that's yes, me. Yes, exactly. Is that really Down a... Down to the white little hair. I swear to you. And they sell every form Is that a real of... kangaroo scrotum? I didn't want to check with no. it. But yes. No. Yes. Look, it has a real, like a thing that says this is oh, real. Oh, is that an actual piece of paper that says it's real? <laughs> the paper's not real. Yeah, the paper's not real, but, but the, the this that... genuine product, it says genuine product, was harvested and processed in accordance with... Oh, it is a genuine... Harvested! someone to harvest your scrotum. I mean, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Give it a try. Love it. Yeah, you bet you do. One of those. Hey, actually, Jeff's missing his business. I could hang those on his bones. And... In your pants. Also, he could have the scrotum like, you could move like it around. Chicken? If you could yeah. have, if you could have your scrotum anywhere. Oh, I like it where it is. <laughs> yeah. Chicago. No, I, I'd like it in Chicago. Or, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> no, I like it where it is. You know, around the corner, tucked out the way. Yeah. You don't like to. Kind of like a private cottage. You don't like to free ball it. No, no, I like it round the corner, tucked out of the way, in a secluded little cul-de-sac I like to call home. I think. <laughs> Cul-de-sac, ball sack, it's all the same to me. Right. Listen, tell me about Australia. What were you uh, doing? Are you doing your show in the strip? I literally was very involved with the, uh, the scrotum. They have the uh, souvenir. They have, it's all a euphemism no, now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, I was doing my show down there, I think. Right. They tell me. Where did you go? What part of Australia? Everywhere. I've been there. I've been there uh, quite okay, a lot. Okay, then. Right. Then. I, uh, I've been to uh, Sydney and Melbourne. And Perth. Had... No, I've never been there. Perth is the farthest place away in the whole world. <laughs> That's what they told me. It's like the scrotum of Australia, is. is what you're saying? It is. It is the really? ball is sack it... of, the, of Australia. Do, yeah. and did, you have a nice, uh, did you have a nice time there? Okay. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say uh, Canberra is not a good place to go. Canberra. Well, That's... even the Australians are like it. I haven't got a Canberra or Brisbane. That's what Kirtanburg they say. Canberra is also where they have the government and porn, which I thought was an interesting combo. One stop shopping. Yeah, yeah that's you right. Go right there. We should start having our porn in Washington. I yes. think there is some. I, I'm concerned that you're leaving your glasses. I won't. I, I'm going to leave my shoes, though. No, don't leave anything. What Why? I'm saying is. I have to have a reason to Let me back. finish, okay. Karen. What I'm saying is. You, you want to put your glasses legs down, not lens down, because oh. lens down, they get scratched. Legs down, You are so wise. I don't know. I don't know how I function without you. I really don't. Well, you don't. I that's, don't function. No, that's why you have to come that's here. That's why I was in the hospital. How long were you in the mental hospital? Not long enough, obviously. No, it, no, no, no. I was there uh, months. Are you, are you talking about treatment? No, I'm talking oh, about... But... Oh, awesome. Why been... is that a gesture of insanity, by the way? What does that even mean? Well... Yeah. It's less like offensive swirling. than... Actually, I prefer... Yeah, no, that's... Oh, she's... <laughs> people might Let's think... make up new gestures. All right, then. Oh, oh she's... man. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, what was... Is that recently? It's not recently. Uh... May who know? I have, well, no, not that recently. But the time that I was really, really in the hospital, yeah, when you didn't visit, thank you. 
That time, that was like 10 years ago, though. Well, I didn't when everything I, I on didn't, TV was I, about me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you 10 years ago. Why? That's why I didn't come why to the hospital. Why didn't you? Because it was... Yes, exactly. I see. Yes. It's things like that that made me really crazy. No, it's things like this <laughs> that made me really crazy. Well, let's you know, see. I actually thought kangaroos would have bigger uh, nuts than this. Uh, this is, is this from a small kangaroo? It's, it probably is, because you don't want to go after a big kangaroo and say, yeah, give me those. Yeah. And I'll be like, boom, 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 boom. They think of them like as their rats. Yeah. They have, they don't like kangaroos. No, they don't there. care for them that no, much. They no, they're like big rats. coffee rats. Yeah. But a friend of mine had a kangaroo, and they had it running around the house and stuff. They hopping, stay in the hopping around the house. Oh, yes. And they stay in the pouch for 15 months. And when they come out to, you know, do their business, it's a really kind of a long thing. I know you needed to know that. Do the, what do you mean do their business? Well, they come out to go to the bathroom. This would be... When they... the little baby kangaroo comes out, goes to the bathroom, and goes back in? Yep. That's adorable! It was adorable! It sounds adorable. No, it's, that would be kind of cool for the little uh, fetuses to do that, too. Come out, get a tan. No, 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 no. That would, that's, that's weird. <laughs> I need you to tell me what's well, weird yeah, and yeah. what isn't. Are you, are you still in therapy? I, I, I still am. Are you? Oh, yeah. Can yeah. I have the number of your person? Because I mine died. <laughs> or anyway, that's what she claimed. Ah, I see. She's probably just in Vegas or with Oprah or something. So I, I go and see a psychopharmacologist. What the hell is that? I have no idea. That's like a really, a really angry drugstore manager. <laughs> to teach my parrot to say it, psychopharmacologist. Do you have a parrot? I don't remember you having a parrot. I gave them to my brother because they started to... I had two parrots, Archie right. and Joan. And Joan got really mean. Yellow <laughs> napes, yes. Joan bit my daughter. Wow. So that was, you know... You shouldn't keep your daughter in the same cage as the parrot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, you, you keep your door in a completely separate part of the house. I, I, How there, long? That, there, there's a problem right there. The parrots yeah, in the cage and yeah, stuff? Yeah, the parrot and the door are in the same cage. I've got to have the name of your shrink, then. Yeah, but I didn't learn that from a shrink. That's good. That's old country wisdom. And where do you learn that? You don't come in the from the country. country. No, I do What old country? I come, I come from Stop. Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you learn from Brazil? Waxing. Bikini waxing? Got my little, uh... Yeah. Mine don't look like this anymore, is what I'm saying. Can you imagine that? This is actually, you'd have to wax, waxing the sack. You, you don't want to wax a kangaroo scrotum. No, not these days. No, no. No, not with the way well, things are going. that costs real money. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to do hey, that. Hey, the, the special's on uh, Sunday night? I think so. Okay. Watch it, watch yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's really good. Carrie's very talented. Oh, and, I'm so and talented. And for every viewer who watches, she gets I an get, extra dollar, right? I do, yeah. and I feel better about myself. Right. If you watch me on television, I think I, we like ourselves better because we're on TV, don't we? Oh, no, that's wrong, that's wrong. We don't. Wait a minute, what is it that's good about celebrity? You were going to tell me. Restaurant tables. No, listen, see, people always say that, but you say, oh, it gets you a good table in a restaurant. If I go to a restaurant and they give me a bad table, I've got a different Ooh, la, la. restaurant. I, it's, well, it need to be yes. fair. I mean, it's like, oh, you got them a good table because you're not famous? Well, how about I go over here then and go to a different restaurant? There are thousands of restaurants Again, in the city. This is that Brazilian wisdom. Yeah, you see. No, it's true. You should come with me to when to my people celebrate Carnival. <laughs> You have to bring me next. Scotty Scarnival, you gotta see that. Yeah. <laughs> but we can bring. We'll bring Archie. Bring some. Yeah. Archie. Yeah, I'm the, gonna call him Archie. The scrotal yeah. parrot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a little face <laughs> on him as well. <laughs> the final indignity to the ballless kangaroo that's out there. Eyes, yes. Good. Nose. It's no, kinda, no nose. Oh, look. Oh, come on, a little tiny. You know, nose. nose. How does he smell? Awful as a kangaroo scrotum. <laughs>
my next guest uh, is uh, an author uh, who wrote this book. So that's a relief, because it'd be really awkward if it was, like, <laughs> Jackie Collins or something, and she would be like, what are you doing reading someone else's book? <laughs> Jackie Collins likes to talk like the Queen of England as much as possible. No, this is a book. If you don't know what a book is, it's kind of like a blog, but interesting. And it's, uh... This is, uh, this is the, the latest book by the best-selling author, uh... Well, this, this is a clue to who, who it is. The book's called Moonlit Mile. It's written by Dennis Lehane. Dennis Lehane, everybody! Dennis Lehane. I've seen you. I know it has been. Yeah, well, how long's it been? A while. It's been like a year. Really? I don't know. What have you been doing? Writing books? Yeah. Do you, do you sit down on, is that what you do? You sit down in some romantic place in, in, uh, in Boston, perhaps? Maybe a Starbucks or something and then write on a computer? No. No, I didn't think so. No, no, no. What do, how do you write? I like to just sit in strange cars and, you know. Do you write with a pen? Yeah, I actually do write with a pen. Really? I do. It's all printed here. I know. <laughs> How do you know when you've got enough if you write with a pen? You don't know if you get to the end of the page. <laughs> you just get a feel for it after a while, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, if you... Uh, I'm sure you know, you know what the, you're doing, If the Dennis. pen runs out... <laughs> what? If the pen runs out... The pen runs out, the book's finished. You've done a day's work. There now, you go. Is this, this is a prequel, isn't it? It's a sequel. A sequel, not a prequel. It's a sequel, it's not a sequel. It's a no, sequel to Gone Baby Gone? Yes. Oh, yes. right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 12 hey, years did you later. see that? Did you see that uh, Shutter Island film? It's a fine film. That, yeah. I saw that movie. Yeah. Yes. That's a good yeah. movie, that. I know. It was like your book in it many was ways. It's a lot like my book, yeah. It's, it's amazing you how You should people... talk to Martin Scorsese because I think he stole some things out of that book. <laughs> that you wrote that had the same name and put it in the movie. Well, we've, yeah, here's, here's something that's now, if anything's set in Boston and, and involves a gun, yeah. I get credit for it. That's true. Everybody thinks you wrote The Departed. I had a guy, I was, I was, in, a, I was in a bar and I had the, the bartender say, you look like the guy who wrote Mr. Grever. And I said, I am the guy who wrote Mr. Grever. And then they said, oh, you wrote Mr. Grever. And so this guy comes off the stool and he says, uh, so you wrote The Departed? See? And I, I said, uh, I said, no, I didn't, I didn't write The Departed. And the, and the guy, he's hammered, and he kind of leans back for a second like he knew that. And then he goes, so is Jack Nicholson a... Ooh la la! <laughs> so well, I don't know, I didn't write The Departed. So he, then he walks away, and a couple minutes later, he comes back, he walks on over, and he goes, how tall is Matt Damon? <laughs> I didn't write the department, you know? <laughs> so, maybe he was just asking you. <laughs> yeah, in general. Like, in there, general. There's a guy that looks like he might know. So then we're out at the, we're out at the, we're out at the park, and I, my wife says, you know, does this happen to you a lot? It says, it happens enough, you know? People thank me for the departed. A lot of people thank me for Mystic Pizza. Mystic <laughs> Pizza? Mystic Pizza. <laughs> Mystic Pizza by Mystic Dennis Lahaye, and exactly. I want to see. That's exactly. a bit, very interesting book. <laughs> so then my wife's at the park alone, and she's, she's with my daughter, and this other woman's standing there with her kid, and they're talking, and she says, the woman says, I, I know, you know, we haven't formed met, but I know you're married to Dennis Lehane, and just tell him how much I love the town. <laughs> like, I didn't write that either, you know? <laughs> but that's good. That, I mean, surely you should get a little bit of money for all of these uh, things that you didn't write. Well, maybe think, the people who actually did write it should get money. I don't know, but but I I should uh, I shouldn't be running around taking credit. Is no, all take take the credit. You, you always, no, take the credit. This is Hollywood. Uh, you know, you gotta. Okay. The number one rule: take credit for uh -oh. you didn't do. Number right. one. Okay. Number two: always remember this: Jack Nicholson is a tootsie fruits. Okay. Remember that. There you go. Right. Right. Number three: Matt Damon never discusses height. Never, never discuss it. Never. It's against the rules. Have you it's met Matt Damon? I have. I have. How tall is he? He's pretty tall. <laughs> he's, about, I, you know, he's about my height. He's, yeah, not, he's not, he's not, he's not short, huge, he's not right? Yeah, yeah. He's just, you know. But you think he's shorter because he hangs about with Ben Affleck, who's a giant. He's, he's a giant. Yeah, he's yeah, huge. He's huge. huge. I mean, he walks in a room, you're like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, magic yeah, yeah. beans, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> He's big. He's tall. He's a tall fella. Yeah, and very polite. Extremely yeah, polite. Yeah, no, I like, yeah, I like nice Ben Affleck. Yeah. Nice they're guy. from Boston, aren't they? Matt Damon they, and Ben They are. They're all from Cambridge. Oh, is that a different There's a part? little bit of a slight bifurcation there. Bifurcation? Bit of a, bit of a river in between. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you wrote books. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, or, or some would say a split. Bit of a split. There's a split. Yeah, there's a, a, no, I would say bifurcation, but that's me. Uh, yeah. 
Now, listen, tell me this. You, you occasionally have uh, forayed into the, uh, slummed it in the world of television, written about te good television. Good television, written, yeah. Good television. What, what are you watching right now that's good television? The, I gotta say, this, I'm, I'm really jacked about this. People kind of roll their eyes a little bit when I say it, but the zombie show, The Walking Dead. I haven't seen it yet. Is it oh, good? Oh, God, it's great. Is it really? It's so good. It's so good. It's it's, well, uh, it's really gross. Talk me through it. Do zombies solve crimes or have no, relationships? No, they solve crimes. They just, Do, are they sensitive zombies? Do they have feelings about they're others? They're not. Ones? No, ah, remember okay. we had sensitive vampire problems? Yes, you I and I? Yeah, hey, yeah. Sen sensitive These are not sensitive zombies. They're slow zombies. They're not like the fast zombies in the new movies. Right, right. Slow zombies. They kind of... I don't mind a slow zombie. No, but there's a lot of them. And uh, and that's it. You know, and this guy just uh, trying, to, trying to work his way through zombie land. It's good stuff. That sounds pretty good. Hey, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good. Do you uh, do you do you answer the question in this about whether zombies poop or not? I think if you ate like greasy like human flesh, you'd you'd have to poop. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, t I see your point, and uh, uh, far be it for me to poke holes in the logic of this, but. Surely, if you're The Walking Dead, then, you know, you don't have to go, oh, I have to go number twos. You know, yeah. You, you got it, that right, right well, Mr. There you Mr. There you are, right there. I've never seen him. He never takes a break. No what? kidding. <laughs> so he'd know. Well, he's not really The Walking Dead, Dennis. He's plugged in. And I don't mean in a Hollywood way. You know, I mean, okay. he's just, right, just, you know, plugged, in really just plugged in, yeah. Right, he's so. dangerous, but only in a 12 foot from the outlet radius. All right, so there goes that party. Yeah, yeah okay. Right. You like the zombies? I'm surprised. I don't, it. I'm not so much a zombie. I'm not a zombie guy. I'm not a sensitive vampire guy. I'm not right. a zombie guy. But this is a good show. This is really good drama. Would you ever, would you ever write a, a fantastical undead or a, like a, a creature like that in, in a story of yours? Would you ever go in that direction? Because you do write Why stuff not? which is very, very gritty in places. I, I, uh, you know, you, you've gone different periods. You did the police strike in Boston. And yep. the, was it yep. 19th century that was? That I was read that 1920. One. Yeah. I did Shut Around, 1950. I think, um, I think, you know, if I did a domestic drama and suddenly zombies showed up, I think it'd be good. Domestic drama with zombies. <laughs> who, who poop? <laughs> right here. In your pants. Yeah. Right here. I'm willing to uh, put up CBS's money to pay for this. Okay. All right. 43 bucks. <laughs> Dennis so, Lehane presents zombie... But they uh, can't poop. For, 40, for 50, I could... All uh, right, okay. Zombies that poop? All right. Now, if, don't you, don't, if you don't actually walk out of here with that money, you're a damn fool. You, you should take it. It smells real. Yeah, it, it's real money. It's real money. They actually have a guard bring it to my desk, and he waits and then takes it away, but he wouldn't dare come out and, and take the money from you. You can take that away. Give it to your friend, Jack Nicholson. I would. I would. Or just maybe Matt Damon so he could Matt buy Damon. some height boots. You know what I mean? Well, we're out of time, Dennis. Do you play the mouth organ at all? I do not. Okay. I do not play any instrument. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you? No. Okay. Um, do you, do you watch Doctor Who ever? I, I used to when he was curl, it was super, like when he had the Jerry curl, that Doctor Who. Mm, I can't remember that one. It was way back, way back. The first Doctor Who, I think. He had no, like no, no, you're, that, you're thinking Tom, Tom Baker, you're thinking. Yeah, the yeah, guy. Yeah, the he was the fourth Doctor Who. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sad that I know that. <laughs> Now, wasn't there was a Scottish doctor who wasn't that the, the yeah yeah David Tennant he was uh, he was number ten yeah okay yeah okay the guy was I'm really sad that I know that too <laughs> okay there you go yeah right uh, well, okay well so uh, this is a time to learn thank you yeah, all right you ready okay gonna, all right we have to well, play ourselves out because I don't have a band I gotta open it how um, do you open this damn thing <laughs> ah oh yeah this is use your big tough Boston fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie ate him. Uh, All right. All right. You ready? Okay. After three. One, two, one, two, three. There's Lane, everybody. That was just like that. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. Good night, everybody!